okay, it is Monday, Veterans Gut Day. Yeah, Ooh, I'm just rocking my librarian bun mama hire. Um, to all you that have married veterans or, yeah, here's the boy. We are not too pleased with him right now. Yes. Yeah, yeah. He's in a lot of trouble, I would say a little bit. He's in a lot. I'm not going to stop. Anywho, he made sweet girl cry. We like sweet girl better than we do him. We will claim her as our daughter and get rid of his butt. You know what I'm saying? Anywho, I've been up for a while. I've gotten bathrooms clean, both bathrooms. There's like a gas station. So I've cleaned it. Um, done floors. I've got to do the dining room floor. All the hard floors. Um, my laundry room floor because, yeah. Just because. I'm eating my frogs. I'm eating my frogs. Slowly, but I'm eating them. Uh, that man has had to go do like a little side job for a really, really good friend of ours. Um, she had messaged me this morning um, that they had some plumbing problems. So he's gone to go do that. And I'm just kind of not hitting the ground running. I hit the ground, but it wasn't running. Take a good look, y'all. He ain't gonna look like that long. Oh, he's a Mr. Grinch, all right. She even got him a Grinch mug and a Grinch stuffed animal. And last night, he watched a scary movie and she watched it, and of course, she is such a sweet, sweet, sweet heart girl. Um, it scared her, so they had to watch something funny after to make that scaredness go away. So they watched The Grinch. Did y'all finish watching all of it? I fell asleep. Of course you did. He's not feeling good. I do have to give him the little bit of credit. He does not feel good, but this is not the first time. Yesterday morning. Yeah, this is not the first time he's made her cry, oh. though. Goodness. You so, have to tell everybody I do have to tell everybody, yes, because you need to feel bad. Oh, well, I didn't feel bad, all right? I just have a hard time showing it, okay? He needs the to feel bad. Tell oh, him, ladies, he cannot do no better. She is love. educated, and we found out today I mean, she has never had a cavity. Oh, so man. she's educated and got good teeth. There yes. you go. <laughs> yes, she's bona fide. I'll give you that. She is bona fide. If you can play with the broom, start using it. It goes in this Brimacy. motion. Listen, Mickey Mouse. It's, the moon's not You, right. you ain't... <laughs> <laughs> you are not the... What was the movie? Fantasia? What? Where Mickey Mouse made the brooms dance. Yes. Was it Fantasia? Yes. Okay. Wow. I, well, I couldn't remember if it was Fantasia or there was one called Fun and Fancy, wasn't it? Am I wrong? I need tea. That's what I need. I need sweet tea. Anywho, this is what we're doing today. I am trying to get some cleaning done because my maid ain't never showed up. Oh, yeah, I am the maid. <laughs> I'm trying. Very hard to convince myself. I, yeah. You fake it till you make it, y'all. You fake it till you make it. I had just laid around and not done nothing and it ain't made me feel no better so maybe if I get up and do something yeah at least I'll have something done might not feel no better but at least I'll have something done so there you go um to all y'all that have joined in the bible study yay um, we are on week two. We are doing meditation. Last week was gratitude, and this week we're still doing still do gratitude, but you also add meditation to it, and that is playing soft music. What did I do with my... I had to turn it off due to copyright. If I have a song playing too long, I have my phone in my back pocket. And I've got it set to Pandora's Classical. 
I had it on Christmas instrumental, but I just cannot get into Christmas. It just, I, I just, yeah, I can't. I know I should, but it ain't happening. Can you get in the Christmas mood? Nope. Yeah, it's I mean. It's not Christmas. That's why. No. It's not Christmas. No, everybody else is showing like Christmas pictures and stuff. Let them show it. That is not Christmas stuff. They're liars. They're all liars, okay? He is the Grinch, y'all. They made the movie after me. Give me the smooths. Yeah, she slept with his his moosey, his sensey butt thing. Now, to clarify, she sleeps in here. He sleeps in his room. Well, so, not yeah. all the time. I, just, I like to sleep in pure blackness and silence. That's not black in here. We're wondering if, yeah. <laughs> yeah, in here. Um... I was trying to get to where I was talking about. Go to your Pandora if you got Pandora on your phone. And you can do. Yes, no, thank you. I don't want that. Okay. I like either the Canon and D station, or you can do. Um, classical relaxation radio. I can play just a little bit and then I'll have to turn it off. That's Puccini. Yeah, the three tenors. Puccini, Pachavelle. And what was the other one? The other guy. You can have some candy. It's okay. That's what um, I put it there for. I'm. <laughs> All right. So, but yeah, I just have it on my phone. I have my phone in my back pocket. And that way, I'm, whatever room I'm going to, I can kind of hear it and do. And I did have my candles lit, but I have a fear of having a lit candle if I'm not in that room. Um, yeah. Yeah, um, having a volunteer fireman in the family lets you know of, be careful. I do have my warmers going, but um, my candle in my kitchen is the pumpkin squash. And then the one in the den is my cashmere woods. It is a wonderful. And somebody took my lighter. But anyhow, if you, point being, um, if you have not joined our Bible study, it is still not too late. We've got four weeks and we are just starting week two. So, um, and you do not have to buy the book. You can get the free resources online. On Monday, she will have a blog post and a video for you to watch. And I will usually link it to my Facebook page. Um, and I'll try to link it to this one. I don't, I can, I might can. I'll have to, I'll have to check and see. If not, check my Facebook page, um, Stacy Roten, and it should be there. Um, but I'll try to have it linked down below. I think I did do that. I know I can't link other like URLs, I can do other YouTube pages. So, anywho, <laughs> I think there's some way that I can do it. Um, but yeah, so like I said, I'm just kind of going from room to room. There's my tablecloth hat turned out. It is just folded in half because I got one that if I do put my other leaves in and turn the table back around and do all my other leaves, um, the tablecloth will still work. So, I just fold them in half. I'm, I'm procrastinating. That's what this face is. It's the face of procrastination. Um, I need to be sweeping them up in floors, and I just don't want to. Yeah, I vacuumed. I cleaned bathrooms. 
I need to be playing Mickey Mouse with this broom. I've been teasing I need a Roomba. Mm hmm To do these hard floors. I need a Roomba. But that ain't gonna happen. Them things expensive. So anywho. What else? Yeah. But yeah. Um and I, my prayer bowl, I have, I've near back got my prayer bowl filled up. Um, I've gone through all my comments. Ooh, it's dark in here. Hold on. Okay. Um, my prayer bowl we have added to. What? He's going to be a beast right out on his head. Um. So, but yes, those of you that left comments, uh, please add me to the prayer bowl. We have added you, and I have prayed for you this morning. I've already done my, I just have not posted my picture of my, um, I need to make that one move. Oh, I've already done my Bible time this morning. And during the course of the day, whenever I sit here in my chair, I'll also, um, you know, whenever I'm just taking a moment and I need to catch my breath, I will take my moment, I will catch my breath, and I will pull and draw a name and pray. Um, <laughs> that man told me, he said, you make it sound almost like you're drawing for a lottery. <laughs> I'm like, no, that's not, that is not my intention. Um, but yeah. Our week two challenge is meditation and keep your candles lit and then play your music. And uh, we're still doing grateful and pray a prayerful. And then our scripture today is actually Psalms 1, 1 through 6. So, I will... He's evil. I will um, link... The Women Living Well, you can just go to, yeah, you can go to goodmorninggirls.org or womenlivingwell.org and um, get your Making Your Home a Haven um, resources. And, and usually you can click that. She'll have where you can print off this week's reading scriptures this week's memorization scriptures. I usually try to, um, yeah, use it. Well, now I say week's memorization. This one is um, each day you have one. So, but um, yeah, I will usually try to memorize some. They're usually fairly procrastination. It's the floors. I'm telling you, it's the floors. Any hoozles. Um, trying to think about what else. Hey, Christmas spirit. I'm trying yes and no. Um, I am going to. I said I wasn't putting up anything Christmassy. I am going to change my tiered tray on top of the microwave to a Christmas thing. I might put up my Christmas village. Um, yeah, we do have some Christmas stuff planned. Um, we are going to do the Victorian tour. Um, we've got to find out about the candlelight tour like we did last year, but, um, they're going to do a Dickens Christmas, December the 8th. I know we leave the next day for the cruise, but... You actually get to walk through downtown Wetumpka, and they are going to have people dressed in the Victoria era. They're going to have carolers. They're going to have um, chestnut vendor. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, yeah. All the stores are going to be um, done, like with window, window scenes, like the old day, like the olden days. Um, and the candlelight man he will actually be going around lighting the luminaries so how fun um 
Aaron had told us about that one. And I know Carol Beth would have a ball. I would. I would. So we're going to do that. Um, and then I also have Carol Beth uh, time slotted to go see the Sensory Santa. Um, this time we're going to do the one at the Y in Prattville. Um, we'll actually do that. Um, oh, it's the 7th we're going to do the Dickens Christmas. That Friday night. So, that won't be the the night before our cruise. Um, oh, and then we're going to do the LDS Nativity. Um, they do nativities from around the world. They have some from, they have a lot from Kenya, actually. Um, but they display, I'll take y'all with this. I want to say that they allow, I'll have to email them and find out, make sure if they allow, like, video cameras. I think they do. I want to say one year we did. But they are wonderful. Um, still procrastination. Shut up, boy. Oh. <laughs> I up Could y'all get that broom and put in your hand? I either need to put it in your hand or put it across your butt. Okay. Um, procrastination. <coughs> okay. Yeah. I'm gonna do floors and I'll be back. Got to, okay, I've gotten done with doing all the hardwoods as far as sweeping and vacuuming and I really need to swiffer or mop. I got my tunes going. Sorry. <laughs> um, yeah. <sighs> I'm, I'm glowing, y'all. <laughs> Southern ladies don't sweat. We glisten. Whew, how blind you want to. <laughs> uh, my back is saying stop enough so we're going to listen to my back I, th I think I've done enough I'm going to get somebody else to mop the floors because I just can't after leaning over two bathtubs two potties doing all the floors I even did the laundry room floor as far as sweeping it uh, yeah somebody else is going to have to do the mopping um, I'm going to stop. It is right now. Oh my goodness. It's 12.45. So I'm going to stop and I'm going to get me some lunch. Erin brought some of her grandmother's homemade bread. Last week we got cinnamon raisin and it had glaze on it. Oh, my stars and hannies. She does like the sourdough. It's homemade sourdough bread. She's got a starter that she has had for um, 10 years. Like loads of lots of time. So and said her Grammy had made the comment she is so glad that she's got somebody to send it with now. So we are reaping the rewards of Grammy's homemade bread. I used to do the homemade Amish bread plain just the plain white and then I would do jalapeno cheese and jalapeno bacon cheese and I just I, I cannot tell you the last time I ate homemade bread my hands I know just will not yeah because mine yeah it would make up four loaves at a time um and it was a true Amish recipe um, yeah, yeah, so, and I know my hands just cannot hold out to need it, so, yeah, and my back couldn't hold out to stand up long enough to do it, so, I'm going to reap the rewards of Granny's bread, so, yeah, I'm going to get me a slice of that, put some butter on it, and there you go, I might even make me a scrambled egg, who knows, all right, and then poor Becca, she called all upset. She had a, and I can't, no, that goes into, and she never did tell me his name. I don't know his name. So she did not break any privacy or confidentiality law. She didn't do any of that. But she just said a patient, a male patient, 
and she has done told them several times that he makes her uncomfortable. Now see, this is where I'm sorry. The male orderlies should do the male patients, and the female orderlies should do the female patients. That way you have no, there's no question of who did what to whom. You know what I'm saying? Um, I would feel uncomfortable the other way. Uh-oh. I would feel uncomfortable the other way if I had a male orderly taking care of my grandmama. I'm just saying. Um, I'm making lots of, I'm making lots of noise. But, um, anywho, she called me all upset. And she had told him before that she's had problems in the past with this patient. And they did not do anything about it. Well, she called me all in tears. Uh, she finally had to have a little breakdown. Because he grabbed and did things very inappropriately to her. So, yeah. She went running from the room crying. Can't blame her. Um, yeah. And we have always said, even some neighbors... That Becky used to babysit for when she was little, you know, when when she was little, when she was younger, um, she babysat their kids, and the lady had told us she said Becca has this God-given gift of discernment. Um, she just she has, and she does. She has got the gift of discernment. Um, she can just, you know. And so she said that he had always made her feel uncomfortable. And then he's tried this one other time. And she did tell who she needed to tell. Nothing was done about it. He was put on her rotation again today. And she's like, okay, you know, I'm going to suck it up. I'm going to do my job. Well, he pulled it again. He did the inappropriate. And evidently it went a little bit further. Because she went running from the room crying. And so now, I told her, I said, okay, you've done twice. Uh, well, she's worn them a couple of times. I said, you need to actually do a formal complaint against him. I know enough that from, like, teaching and everything, that you can do formal complaints. Um, and she's like, that's what I'm going to have to do. And so, but she was all upset. And she just, she needed her mama to talk to. And I calmed her down. And I told her, and she's, when she got ready to go, she's like, I've got to go. And i got to go, go feed one of my ladies. And I'm like, okay, don't let what happened earlier in your day. And this is a takeaway, y'all. That man, is that you? Yes, that man. Okay. Uh, this is a takeaway that y'all can get, too. Uh, I said, don't let what happened earlier affect the rest of your day. Hey, fat man. Hey. I'm talking about Becca's. She had an awful, awful morning. That rude male patient that she has, mm -hmm. he pulled his little stunts again today, very inappropriately. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, she was crying when she called me. She's still employed. She had gotten fired. I told her to file a formal complaint against him, so mm -hmm. she was going to. That way, they cannot put her on his rotation anymore. Okay. So, yeah, there you go. Any hoozles. Um, hey, back to my thought. You can't let that ruin the rest of your day. Never hit those buttons. <laughs> you say and hit those buttons and subscribe. But, um, and even, even moms or wives or daughters. Um, whatever the relationship be, uh, worker, employee, uh, you know, employee, supervisor, however it goes, you cannot let a bad incident affect the rest of your day because then you're giving them the control that they want. If Becca lets this incident affect the rest of her day, she is giving him the control that he wanted. He is taking away her joy, which is evidently what he wanted. It's giving him the power. You need to take back your power. 
okay? So, if you have those days where your, your kiddos are just making you pull your hair out, or your mothers are making you pull your hair out, or your spouse is making you just stop, take a deep breath. I told Becca that was the first thing I told her. I said, just take you some deep breaths. Stop. Take another deep breath. And you could tell, I mean, she was, <laughs> I'm like, take a deep breath. And I got her calm down enough that she could talk to me. And I could talk to her. My battery's flashing. Um, and I gotta find my cord. Anywho, I'll be back. Alright, so we are done with supper. Fat Man Grilled Pork Chops. Hey, Fat Man. Hey, Big Mama. Anything you want to say before I shut this one off? Not really. <laughs> you want me to tell them to hit those buttons and subscribe. There you go. Hit those buttons and subscribe. That man, he been, he been working hard. He didn't even get to see the, oh, he didn't even get to see the ball game Saturday. He, he worked. Um, yeah. He did some work today, and he's been working out in his shop. He's trying to get his shop back in order. It was a disaster. I have got this disaster of a house put together. Um, I have been cleaning. I told him, I said, I better quit cleaning so much. Y'all are A going to think the maid has come, and I'm the maid. Oh, or B, they're going to realize that I can do or think that I can do some things, and I can't. So... Um, luckily the Lord blessed me that I was able to do today. Um, some anyway. Like I said, he had to grill out. That was a delicious treat. And, uh, it just kind of gave me a chance to rest. So, um, put on the librarian buns, put on those pearls, put on that smile, and y'all be sweet. <laughs>